I'm back in my conference center and what I want to show is how easy it is to produce animations from, from the conference center. The first option I want you to see is under the animation tab that you have a record button. So for example, I'm just holding the control key and spinning this around and panning into the, the building. But if I, so if I wanted to hit the record button and then I'm using the, the, the options up here to say uh, maybe pan in this direction, maybe um, walk towards my building like this, I'm going to go around the corner. Have a have a look on the uh, the front there, then turn and go round to the very end. Turn this corner and look back. So I'm looking back to my building from here. I'm going to move back a bit so I'm not inside the building. Um, and then I hit the stop. Th this has actually recorded many frames to show the, the movie itself. That at the moment it's called Animation 1. And I can see them up here. Right, I'm going to rename that and, and just uh, call it Recorded on screen. Right, but if you see under here there's actually all of these settings that have uh, all of these uh, frames that were recorded and if I go up here and say uh, recorded on screen and playback it'll it'll play back the sequence that I just recorded so I'll let it run for just a little bit where I panned to one side and then I zoomed forward So I think I think you get the message there is that this, it's easy to record stuff that's on your screen and it will play it back. Let me uh, hit on the uh, stop. Uh, the other way to do this would be, which gives you a bit more control. Um, so you might think of that as the first option is a quick, easy way to create them. The second option, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a folder. points for walk and then what I'll do is I'll right click and say save a viewpoint so I might call this left and then I might go to another position that I want and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go higher than the building so I'm going to be looking down on it a little bit this and then I'm going to create the second viewport viewpoint um, let's say um, middle and then I'm going to turn the model again come back in close and finish looking at this corner of the building right click right click right okay so I can have these so that I can recall, recall them any time to go in and look at the click on the screen to clear the selection so left middle right just the same way as I had all on no arch uh, no arch no structure no arch uh, so what I can do now is I can say let's create a, a, an animation, add animation and I'm going to call it from viewpoints and I, I can just drag and drop so there's like I want to begin with the left then I want to have the middle then I want to have the right. right? I could just reorganize them in the, the browser here so they're left, middle and right. 
Now if I go back to my player here, if I look in my animations, the one that I created from the viewports, viewpoints is like this. So if I if I say play it, it's actually creating the in-betweens to display the motion around the, the model. Now the, the main point that I want to make here is that this could be a walkthrough of a virtual building to inspect specific places in the building well before the building's even constructed. Uh, and the reason I say that is because um, you can update this at any time. In other words, this might be the sequence that I want, but if somebody said later on, um, you know, we don't really need to see the top, it would be better if in looking at the building and presenting it to other people, we were actually not uh, in this, in the, sorry, in this position where it's high and on the, looking at the roof, we would actually prefer it if we could uh, make it more like that. Let's pan it a little bit to this. So what I can do is over, I can move to the position I want, right click, and then say update that view. So think of it, that camera position, I said update, is, is now changed. Right? Which means that my animation up here is now changed. So instead of going up and looking at the roof, because I'm generating this from the viewpoints, it's going to go further out, more of a elevation view than it was before, and then around to the to the end. Okay, so just kind of finishing this off, when I go to that right view, um, what I'm going to do is say, oops, sorry, under the uh, under the uh, viewpoint and under the tree here, so I'm going to go. Well, see, I lost. I lost this again. This is why I like the fact that I can go to load my workspace standard and get everything back that I need. Um, and I, I see everything that's up here. So what I'm going to do is is pick on the selection tree and hide the architecture. And uh, maybe hide the MEP as well. Over here, I'll say, um, go to that, right click, save viewpoint, oh, let's do it. only structure. So let me put it at the end of my animations here. Only structure. Let me put it into the animation. Only structure, but on here I'm going to make sure that it's uh, selection tree. That's hidden. And that's hidden. And last step, update my view to make sure that that's what I'm getting. So it goes from right to that, and just so I can see a little bit of motion, I'm going to turn it around like that and update this. Okay, so now from the beginning, if I go through this, I'll just let you watch it. There's my animations. This is the one from the viewports, viewpoints. Um, go to the beginning and then play it. So the, the last few frames that I get on here will be the building with more than just the camera 
position located, but actually the what is visible and what's not visible in the view, uh, defined in the in the viewpoint. Yeah, so it's finishing with that.